In this video, let's look at adding capacitors in series and in parallel. Okay, so remember in series, it's the reciprocals that add up. So the reciprocal of the equivalent capacitance is equal to the sum of all the reciprocals of the individuals. And in parallel, you just add the capacitance values. Okay, so we'll do two examples. We'll use 20 microfarads and 25 microfarads. So let's add those in series and in parallel and look at an example how to do it. Okay. So let's do uh, parallel first. So in parallel, it would look like this, right? So in parallel, basically all you're doing is adding them up, right? So what's happening is see how these two plates, like in between the plates, it's not conducting, right? So what's happening is this plate is connected to this plate by this wire. So in reality, like what's basically happening is this is one big plate right here and this is one big plate right here, right? Because those two plates are connected by a conducting wire that has basically zero resistance, it just acts like you've added those two plate areas together. And so the equivalent capacitance is just going to be the sum of the two. So it's going to be 20 plus 25. So in this case, with these two, it's going to be 45 microfarads. Okay, so now let's look at adding them in series. Okay, in series, when you add these two up, remember this little section right here from this plate over to this plate, it's isolated from the whole circuit, right? So this is going to behave differently because the charge that's here, you can't add or subtract from that total amount of charge that's there. So that's going to limit the amount. So when you add in series, you're just adding the reciprocals. So in this case, I would do the reciprocal of 20 plus the reciprocal of 25, and that's going to give me 0.09. And so that's not your answer. That's the mistake a lot of people make. They don't take the reciprocal of the equivalent capacitance at the end, right? So you still have to take the reciprocal again, right? So to get your final answer, you have to raise that to the minus 1, which in this case gives me 11.11 .11 microfarads. So when I put these two in series, I get an equivalent capacitance of 11.11 .11 microfarads. So let me just show you an example something interesting. So let's say instead of 20, I make this one 2, right? So this is going to be 2 microfarads now, okay? So let's let's look at if I added those two, okay? So I'm just going to do it real quick. So I got 1.85 microfarads when I made 2 and 25, okay? So if you notice, when you add capacitors in series, you will always end up with an equivalent capacitance that's smaller than the smallest capacitor that you worked with, right? So here, I had 20 and 25, my answer is less than 20. Here, when I did 2 and 25, my answer is less than 2. So if I had, like, let's say I did 5 capacitors, and one of them was 1, and then I had 100, 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000 microfarads, when I added all those up, my answer would be less than 1. Right, that, that works for resistors too. So if you're looking and trying to figure out like which value is going to fit here, the equivalent capacitance is going to be less than the smallest resistor that you're combining. So now let's look at doing something like this where I have a circuit and I have a series of uh, things that are either series or parallel, right? So same process. Go through, do them piece by piece, right? Add the ones that you know are either series or parallel and then work your way through, just kind of like when you were doing resistors. So in this case... I have these two that are series, so I'm going to go ahead and combine these first, and then I can combine those with the parallel one. Okay, so let's do the two series first. So when I combine these two in series, I get 9.59 microfarads. Okay, so I can replace this little set of capacitors right there with one capacitor that's 9.59 microfarads. Okay, So now this 9.59 microfarad little system right here is in parallel with that 3. So I can add them in parallel. So my answer is 12.59 microfarads. That's the equivalent capacitance of this setup of capacitors right here. Right. So adding capacitors is really pretty simple. If you treat it just like resistors, it's basically the same thing. It's just the series and parallel equations are kind of flipped. So with the resistors, remember the parallel ones are the reciprocals and the series are the ones you just add. But same concept as, as doing it with the resistor. So you want to find things that are like, right? So things that are directly series or directly parallel, and then you add those and you work your way through adding them piece by piece. 